Okay, welcome to Dave's Shed. Uh, this week I'm going to explain a little bit about my cordless tool collection, such as it is at the moment, uh, and I'll give you my little review of that, and I'll also explain to you uh, a little bit about what is a brushless motor and why, why that's an advantage. I don't receive any kind of a, a sponsorship, I don't have any affiliation with any tool company, so anytime I do any kind of tool review or anything like that, uh, that's just my honest experience and opinion, and I can say whatever I like. So let's head out to the shed and have a look at, at the cordless tools that I've got. Okay, so when I started off, I had, I had a, I've still got a quite a powerful corded drill and a couple of sanders uh, but pretty soon uh, as a woodworker you want to get um, some cordless kit because it's just it's a lot more uh, versatile it's a lot smaller lots more lot more uh, useful for woodworking type projects uh, and not having the cord means the cords not getting in the way you don't have to get power, you don't have to get extension cords out every time you just want to tighten a screw so fantastic and there's a huge choice I did quite a bit of research and ended up going with Hitachi for a couple of reasons one I wanted that one that was a little bit you know trade quality a little bit better quality uh, but I've got pretty you know, limited budget and the Hitachi ones are on the lowest end you know cheaper end of the trade quality tools so I went with that one uh, also because the Itachi one uh, has got one of the biggest ranges of different skins available. So you have you have a battery uh, and then the, the, the tool itself is called a skin. And the way these ones work is you push to, you push these two you can see that you push these two gray buttons together with one hand, squeeze them together and pull it out like it's called a slide uh, and then you can slide it back in. With the Atashi ones you can have you can have any battery you want uh, as long as it's a six amp hour battery which for woodworkers and DIY is a huge amount. It'll go all day and the next day and probably the day after that before charging it. So um, but there is no smaller version. They do I must admit uh, on these tools they've, they've balance them so that they, they sit nicely in your hand with that battery on. So that's great. In fact, what I ended up needing first was this multi-tool for some, some uh, DIY projects inside the house. Uh, so I ended up, actually this was the first one I bought. So I brought two batteries, a charger and this multi-tool. This allows you to do, you can attach different fittings to here so you can sand and cut and do different things with it depending on what fitting you attach onto the front. So that's ended up being actually a fantastic tool, really helpful. Uh, and I still use it, the, the sanding part uh, is helpful for getting in those tiny, those little nooks and cracks. These multi-tools, or this one at least, um, does, does make a hell of a noise. Um, it's variable speed and you can put it on, on automatic and you see that as an A for automatic so as you as it has encounters different torque and so on it will um, change the speed for you so that's um, that's usually how I use it if I'm uh, doing sanding with it or that sort of thing so I ended up getting a multi tool first and, and that actually uh, has been really good uh, and then um, when I could afford it, I got I got it, actually I got a drill and a driver, impact driver. For woodworking, you don't really need an impact driver. It's a bit of a luxury. There, there it has been really useful. Having said that, fantastic. Uh, there's a lot of torque in there, uh, and with the impact driver, if I can bring that a little bit closer for you, uh, you simply it's quick release. So you simply pull this little collet out, and then you can. Um, change your, your bit if you need to so that's that's kind of neat and it has a little LED that comes on I'm not sure if you can see that if I shine that on there perhaps you can see that when you, when you uh, pull the trigger so impact driver is not really necessary but drill certainly is a drill driver so the reason you don't really need an impact driver is that these drills have 
they're a dual driver so you can set it to be drilling like that one is or you can set it to different uh, torque settings to be a driver this one also can be a hammer uh, it's got a hammer function for masonry work but I never use that if at all so that's great uh, these ones these ones have got two settings so this one you can have it on high for wood which is what I use most of the time or I have occasionally used it for metal so I put it on low for metal but um, almost always I have it on high for wood and then you can actually also control the speed with the trigger to a degree so you can see here if I uh, press it lightly it'll go slow if I press it uh, uh, deeper uh, it'll go faster so that's great you also might notice that the light comes on here with this drill that light is shining up at a point where where you, the uh, drill bit would be hitting the wood so that's actually the little LEDs on these tools are, are really helpful so that's that's great that's the drill uh, another thing uh, about the Hitachi is some of these skins or tools have brushless motors in them uh, what a brushless motor is a, a normal or a normal DC motor the kind of DC motors that have been around for a hundred years they have a they have a uh, stator on the outside and they have a rotor on the inside and the rotor has a it's electromagnetic uh, magnets inside there um, and as it spins the polarity of these mag of these uh, electromagnetic magnets needs to change so to do that you, it has little brushes on the rotor so that as it turns round the polarity of the of the DC current changes so then for the polarity of the electromagnets change and around and around it goes. Uh, it's a bit hard to explain that uh, without a diagram but uh, anyway it has these brushes so the problem with these brushes is that it's a point of failure so it's rubbing on that brush all the time and that brush is can can wear uh, they could even break but normally that doesn't happen but they could wear um, the other thing is, is that there's a, there's, it creates some electrical noise but as a woodworker that that doesn't really matter might upset your radio or something it's not really going to matter but they do create a little bit of there's a bit of a loss because of this the drop of voltage between the brush and this this spinning rotor so once cheap electronics became available we now have brushless motors the way that works is there's actually a bunch of different electromagnets inside the rotor and you use electronics to sequence these electromagnets around, electromagnets around uh, in a sequence and that's what keeps it spinning around that means there's no brushes so hence it's called brushless the advantage of that is that there's, no, there's nothing to wear out it's solid state electronics that's controlling this, this rotating field on the rotor and so they're, they're, a, bit, they're a bit more efficient uh, having told you that the battery will last me forever anyway, will last me for you know maybe a couple of days or something. Uh, but um, that they are a bit more efficient. They're also there's no point of failure, so they'll last longer. So there's an advantage to having a brushless motors. So some of these skins have brushless motors. Uh, I got the jigsaw. Uh, got the jigsaw uh, because it is an advantage to have a jigsaw. A cordless jigsaw so you don't have any any cord to worry about when you're using it um, and it came up on sale so I, I grabbed that it's a really good deal um, and probably not much else to tell you about that it also has a, a, a light and, and everything that's that's uh, that's worked really well I did end up picking up this uh, this vacuum and <laughs> this uh, this vacuum is I wouldn't say it's next to useless, but it's just, it's only for cleaning up a wee little mess. So if I, it's, you know, mostly use it in the house or the car or something like that, because if it's a, if there's a small little mess, it's a wet and dry back and this will clean that up. If, but that's it. It's not, you know, I don't really use it around the shop, so to speak. 
But anyway, that's, that's another. There's a, there's a whole array of different options, different things you can get. So I'm quite happy with the Atashi. I did have one problem. Uh, I mentioned that I've got two batteries and a charger. In a couple of months, the batteries stopped charging. So I took them back to the retailer and uh, they talked to Hitachi and just gave me new ones. So that's the advantage of going for a brand, you know, that's, that's, that's built to last. If it doesn't last, keep your receipt, go back and, and, you know, I just got brand new batteries and they've been great. Uh, it has made, made me a little bit paranoid, so I, do, I keep these batteries constantly fully charged, which probably isn't really necessary with the lithium-ion batteries, but... It's just a habit I've got into now, just because I'm a bit paranoid about something going wrong with the batteries. Uh, so yes, they've been they've been excellent. A lot of some of these, or a lot of these uh, skins, have got this rubberized casing. Uh, so I'm not suggesting that, that you drop them, but if you do drop them or they get a bit of rough treatment, they have some impact resistance. So that's that's quite neat. Um, I think all of the, or at least all the tray quality ones have something like that, something similar. Um, so there, there are better ones, there are cheaper ones, uh, and you have to decide what the what your you know best value for your money is. But I'm I'm being quite I'm quite happy with this. There are there are more different skins I'd like to get if I uh, if I wanted, but I don't you know for example it would be great to have a second drill so I didn't have to keep changing bits. But obviously you know that's just a it's just a nice to have. Um, apparently, later this year, Hitachi are going to change their branding, change their name to something, um, which I think is a silly idea, but I don't get to make those decisions. So its brand name is going to change to Kikoki or something, I don't know. So oh, here we go. Hitachi Koki. So they're changing the name to Haikoki or something like that. I don't know. Um, so it won't be called Hitachi for much longer. Uh, but anyway, they've been good. They've been very good. And um, as I say, I would, if anything, I'd like more of them. So, so um, anyway, that's my decision. That's my experience. So, um, yeah. Later, I'll, t I'll um, start to explain why I made a bit of a priority of, of getting a, um, a drill. Okay, so that's my little review of the Hitachi cordless tools, and I'm very happy with them. They work um, very well, and um, it's also my little explanation of what a brushless motor is. I hope that uh, helped you a little bit. I did forget to mention one of the key advantages of a brushless motor also is, is uh, at least in theory, you can get more torque for less weight. So that is another advantage when talking about cordless uh, tools. So anyway, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.